Hello everyone. So last video I said I would uh, do a tutorial on PvP retro games uh, where you can pit two models against each other. So I'm still working on it. Probably will be ready uh, sometimes next week if I have, uh, have time. But in the meantime I wanted to uh, to show you uh, something I tried. I tried a 1.7 million parameter model, CNN model against a 2.6 million MLP model. So as you may know, uh, MLP model stands for multi-layer perception. So they're not good for image-based tasks, of course, and uh, should not be used for that. Uh, but uh, I still wanted to try it just for fun, because uh, it's funny to, in the context that you you uh, you have a CNN against it. Uh, so you can see the the CNN model is better, but not always. Uh, even after 2 million time steps of training each using a PPO2. So sometimes the, the MLP model wins. And you can see something strange on the right. Uh, the probabilities outputted by the MLP model, which is the, the brain of Shawn Michaels, uh, is fixed. So at some point in the training, uh, the algorithm was cut and it was probably stuck in a, in a local minima and determined that this set of weights, this set of output or is the best, will give the best outcome. And another question you might have is uh, why did the, the Shawn Michaels do the same, do, seems to do random moves. I suppose all, always the same move because with a fixed set of weight it should always do the same move because in the deterministic mode it will choose the, the buttons with the highest probabilities and that's it but in non-deterministic it will choose the buttons it will most likely choose the button with the highest probabilities but not always it will uh, it will uh, apply the, the weights of, of uh, you know, it will apply the weight of each button and uh, in order to determine uh, if they're gonna, uh, it's gonna use it or not. So, for example, the A button it has the lowest probability of 0 0.20, uh, but it still chooses sometimes, but less often than the up button, which has a uh, uh, 0 0.66. So, if you want to see what how it looks when it's in the deterministic mode I can show you it's quite funny So you see, uh, Shawn Michaels always do the same move, which is uh, going back, walking back. So it gets it gets owned by Yokozuna, the CNN model, pretty easily. But at some point, you're gonna see both gonna be stuck. So you see. Yokozuna has trouble going towards, um, the model has trouble going towards uh, Shawn Michaels. And the reason being is that you, uh, both were trained against AI opponents from the game, AI from the game, where they always move towards towards them. So there was, there was never really a situation where Yokozuna needed absolutely to move towards his opponent. Uh, in order to get rewards because the opponent always moved towards uh, Yokozuna and the same for Shawn Michaels so that's now they're both stuck so um, uh, Yokozuna doesn't know the, the, the same model of Yokozuna doesn't know how to uh, really how to react and doesn't know how to get rewards in this case because uh, it never happened so the way to fix this would be to to uh, 
to change the training data that to to inc- to um, to improve the training data with cases where the opponent doesn't move. I also did uh, one with um, uh, with Mortal Kombat. Uh, I can show you now. I think it's this one. So why it's not working? Oh, I see. Oh, this is a hack for MLP models. So basically, uh, this this is one of the bugs I'm still fixing is that for MLP models, you need to normalize the the input frame on the CPU. So both are trained uh, with the same type of model. Like you see on the right, it's, uh, it's written MLP, but that, that's a bug uh, that I need to fix. It's actually a CNN, and both are 1.7 million parameters. And they fight the way they fight is quite boring because Yu Kang uh, was the, the the algorithm figured out that it always needs to do the same move to to beat. I had to beat Jax. Almost the same moves. And Jax a bit the same thing. So you always move to the left and then do a bunch of kicks. So you can I train against Jack for uh, one million uh, time steps, and Jacks uh, I train against Yu Kang for one million time steps as well. So the way to make it more interesting is that probably make them fight against more opponents, and also maybe make them fight against a uh, human opponent uh, to make them discover better, more varied strategies. Force them to discover more various strategies so that's it i just wanted to show a quick video about about that was was what i was working on so i hope you liked it and uh, if you have questions please uh, ask in the comment section uh, down below so don't forget to like and subscribe thank you